Today at Coyote Classics, we're gonna drive this 1968 Oldsmobile convertible. This car has been owned and uh, enjoyed by the previous owner for the past 30 years. It's got 133,000 actual miles on it. And uh, the restoration as far as the paint job and stuff was done back in the late 80s, early 90s when the previous owner purchased the car. Now this, uh, this restoration held up excellent. It's done in a nice silver blue metallic, which the previous owner said it was the original color. Um, he since, uh, in the last few years, he installed brand new parchment interior, took out the original blue interior, uh, had it all professionally upholstered in the uh, factory parchment. As far as the uh, undercarriage of this 1968 Cutlass S convertible, uh, we spent about six hours uh, under, or, no, sorry, uh, power washing the undercarriage on it. As far as uh, you can see all the original paint still on the floors and frame trunk, that kind of thing. It still has the original speckling in the trunk. So good solid undercarriage and very clean now. This car has never been undercoated underneath. so. Um, what you see is what you get. You can go to our website, see those pictures, coyoteclassics.com. As we go underneath the hood, uh, engine compartment looks 100% original. Uh, we power washed and uh, steam cleaned that as well, so it's all nice and clean under the engine compartment. Still has its original patina. We did install brand new valve cover gaskets on it, new plugs and new wires. Engine seems to run great. We also uh, put new shocks in all four corners. This car does come equipped with a power top, power steering, and power brakes. It's riding on a nice set of uh, original rally rims, uh, BFG race white letter tires, and the tires are in great shape all the way around. Um, it does have drum brakes on the front, and they stop beautifully. As far as the inner fenders go, they're the original inner fenders. They still have the little flaps around the a arm Really nice, solid survivor car. That's had one repaint and one interior restoration. As far as the front bumper goes, it has a couple little dings in it, but the chrome is excellent. The grill is in excellent original condition. Headlight eyebrows all look good, but the black on them could be touched up. They've got a little chipping in the black around the headlight eyebrows. As far as our gap goes, it sags just a little bit on the hood hinge on the very back. Uh, other than that, the uh, gap from uh, right to left looks real good and even from front to back. As we look out across the Cutlass S hood, it's got the correct hood scoops in it. nice uh, gap from front to back and it also on the passenger side this one lines up really nicely all the way across the top of the hood to the top of the fender all the way to the back. As we look up and down the side uh, we have not had an opportunity to give this car a light buff. Um, it could use a light buff just got just a Scotia overspray on it still probably from over the years uh, but uh, the body's nice and straight good solid car from front to back. Cut our gap in the front fender to door on the passenger side. We got a nice even gap from top to bottom. It's not chipped up at all. It looks real good there. Uh, lower fender's in excellent shape. Rocker panel is great. So is the lower quarter panel. It's a super solid car. There's no bubbles or blisters anywhere that I can see down low on the passenger side. We do have just a few little paint chips that have been touched up along the edge of the rocker. Out of the car, but other than that, it's super clean, guys. It does have the uh, fender well trim, which looks real good. As far as our tire size, we've got 245, 60, 15s on the front. Our front fender trim is in great shape, and so is our door and quarter trim, guys, all the way back, at least to the um, top area. It's all in really nice shape along here. If we get right to the back, there is some little dings in this uh, quarter panel trim here. It's a little cold, so we do have some steam. The engine runs beautifully. It's got nice dual exhaust too, so 
go ahead and shut it off for right now. We'll go through the rest of the car. With the winter and stuff and steam, I think I'll probably shut these cars off and that way they're not, uh, the steam's not in the view of your uh, paint in the body. As far as the quarter panels go, the quarter panel is in excellent shape. Um, no bubbles or blisters down low. Back bumper has a few little dings in it, but all in all, uh, there again, excellent chrome on the back bumper and the front bumper. Tail light lenses are excellent on the passenger side. The Oldsmobile trim from right to left, all is original and is in great shape as well. If we look over top of the wheel well, that chrome is in great shape. That looks like it's relatively new. I don't think that's 30 years old. If it is, it's been very well taken care of. No uh, paint issues anywhere in the front of the quarter. Our door gap from uh, top to bottom is nice on the passenger side. Again, three owner car, 133,000 miles. So it uh, just hasn't been abused. Uh, weather stripping looks excellent. The stoppers look good. Corners of the doors, paint on the uh, bottom of the door. There's your bottoms. As far as the interior goes, new armrests, new bases, new door panels, um, seat covers, carpet, sill plates, all that stuff has been completely reupholstered um, in the last few years. And the Restore chose to go with the parchment um, versus the original blue, just to give it a little more contrast, and I'm glad he did. If we look at our door jams, they all look good. As far as our seats go, it's got the uh, factory GM seat belts for three. Um, the uh, courtesy light works in the back door panel. Door panels have been replaced in the back. They're all brand new. As far as our top goes, the top uh, doesn't surface rusty, nothing like that. All the frame and stuff looks good. It does have a glass back window. And as far as I can see, the top kind of looks original. There is some stains and stuff, which I'll point out in a little bit. Uh, back seat's excellent. Carpet's in great shape. A few stains and stuff on the carpet, um, but uh, all in all in good shape. The paint and the door jams is all good. Inside the glove box is nice. It's got its original AM Ozenbill radio. Uh, also the courtesy light works here. Power top motor works. As far as the uh, dash pad all looks good. Um, there is two things on it that don't work. Right now the gas gauge and horn are not working. And that our heater fan works good. Wipers work as well. I just put a brand new switch on that. Go ahead and try those. They park correctly. So horn and uh, gas gauge right now are not working. Other than that, everything else inside is working great. Um, also, I was gonna point out, guys, we have new rubbers. Uh, door rubbers are new, these rubbers are new, and so are the roof rail rubbers here. So all those are new, and look how that seals. I mean, most convertibles do not seal like this. So really nice seal all the way up top, all the way from front to back. So this passenger side shouldn't have a lot of air noise at all. Um, glass back window, as I pointed out, the uh, top we did clean with Purple Power. It's the original top, so you got a couple little surface rust, you know, little rusty spot areas, um, and it's just it's not perfectly white anymore, guys. But uh, at 10 feet, it looks fine. You get up close, um, you got some stains in it. As I mentioned before, inside the trunk floor is all the original speckling. It looks really good. It's got uh, original steel uh, spare in there, jack, and stuff like that as well. Passenger side, or driver's side tail lights in great shape. Now, the driver's side has a few little scratches I'm going to point out. Passenger side didn't really have that kind of stuff. Um, very solid in the rear quarter area. That's excellent shape. As far as our, uh, we have three little scratches right here right by that rear emblem. Over top of the uh, quarter panel looks great. No bubbles or blisters there. In front of the uh, rear quarter, we do have one more scratch right there. You can plainly see it. As we go down, no bubbles or blisters. Corners of the door looks great. Front of the door and rocker panel, front fender all looks excellent.
as we go up our gap looks real good from top to bottom on the driver's side fender chrome on the front fender driver's side is excellent front marker looks nice and clear wheel well looks good a couple tiny little scuffs right here by the wheel well um, all this chrome here the driver's side chrome doesn't have isn't beat up in the back all the driver's side chrome is in great shape on the top of this uh, quarter panel door and fender car starts excellent It's just a 352 barrel, but I'll tell you what, the car runs awesome. Um, doesn't miss a beat. You know, and once you get it behind the behind the wheel of it, get it down the road, you'll see just how nice this uh, 1965 Cutlass S convertible drives. But it really sounds nice with that dual exhaust. A uh, dual exhaust has some nice chrome tips too. Door opens and closes good. Again, our jam paint all looks good. Driver's side front and rear armrests, rear door panels, all brand new. Look great, the chrome on there is excellent. Seat covers are great, no uh, rub where you go in and out, all the cords are excellent there. Scuff plates look nice, retractable seat belts are the original still. Previous owner said the original radio worked up to a couple years ago. Not really sure what happened there, but. Train stuff's all original. The dash is in great shape on it. So, dash is all clean, original. We do have the original steering wheel, it's in the trunk, comes with the car. Just listen to how nice this thing idles down. It's got 33,837 miles on the odometer. Um, pretty sure it's 133. I said 350 rocket two barrel, but a lot of power and uh, just a great running engine still. Those new shocks really made it drive nice. Car picks up speed well, the front end feels good on it. Tester brakes out, no pull left or right, and uh, that power brake pedal is way up top, guys. Got a nice pedal. Again, high speed braking is no problem. When we get to the stop sign, it idles down nice, sounds nice. Again, we're cold. Hey, let's turn the heater fan on. Um, all these uh, controls go from cold to warm, from heat to defrost. Put it on frost. Defrost works as well. They said the sink picks up speed well. There's 40 to 55 right there. Just switches, shifts. The two speed power glide shifts right at 60. Um, we're going down the road right now, 70 mile an hour, guys. It goes down the road excellent. Um, not high RPMs, doesn't need that third gear. This thing really runs and drives nice. We do have a little bit of wind noise over in this driver's side. Uh, passenger side seals up excellent. I don't see any air gaps over there, but uh, there is a little bit of wind noise there on the driver's side, which is uh, very common for an old convertible. This car is uh, definitely capable, in my opinion, of jumping in and driving wherever you want to go. Uh, handles the road great. It's quick. 
and uh, the heater blows nice and warm on the defrost, so it uh, shouldn't be a problem wintertime driving at all.